In this video, I'll go over the wise bulb and I'm gonna be giving you some of the best features and how to use them right here in this video. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that one of the first things that you added to your smart home project was most likely a smart bulb. So the smart light industry has been picking up a lot of steam over the last few years with a bunch of different vendors, a bunch of different lights, bringing a lot of different features. But recently, Wise made a big wave by bringing into the market the Wise Bulb. The Wise Bulb is another smart bulb, but the thing is, it comes in at about $8, which is probably one of the most affordable smart bulbs in the market today. But it's not just the price. Wise also brings some cool features to the table that makes that price appealing even more to customers who are just getting started in their home automation project and want to stay within a certain budget. Unlike other competitors, Wise doesn't need a hub to run, which it makes even more appealing for the people who are trying to stay within a certain budget, but also using and taking advantage of smart lights. Now the Wise bulbs are just white. They don't offer the RGB colors that some of these smart lights offer today, but you can still get a few different shades of the white that lets you add a little bit of mood to your light setting. The Wise bulbs are compatible with Google Assistant, Alexa, and IFTTT. So as far as the feature goes, it does come with a dimmer option, which means you can dim the light between 1% to 99% to set the right mood that you're trying to achieve. It also comes with a timer option, so you can set your lights to go on or off after a certain period of time. And it also comes with the scene setting option, so you can set scenes for different um, moods that you're trying to set. So if you're just trying to do a relaxing scene, you can do probably a little more warmer white, uh, which is maybe dim to 25%. Or if you're trying to focus, you can probably do a brighter white that's set to perhaps 100%. And then last but not least, it does come with the vacation mode already set up in the app. So all you have to do is just turn it on if you're away from home and the lights will go on and off at a random time so that you don't actually have to set up certain recipes using IFTTT um, or SmartThings in order to get your lights to come on and off at a certain time. And if you have more than one bulb, you can also set them to different groups. So you have a control over all of them at the same time. And if you're trying to get the extra layer of automation, you can also get the Wise Sense, which is a bunch of little sensors from Wise that will cost you about 20 bucks, but you can also use these bulbs inside of a pantry or a laundry room or your garage or even a room. Um, and these sensors will let you trigger the lights based on what you use. So if you're using a motion sensor, the lights will just simply go on when you get there or they will go off after a certain time when there's no movement. Or you can use a door opening sensor. So if you open your pantry or your laundry room or a bathroom, uh, the lights will automatically go on based on when the door was actually opened. A couple of quick facts are that the white bulb is actually recommended for indoor use only. So you don't want to leave it outside where it's going to take on some weather and things like that. Also, the life expectancy on these bulbs are about 20,000 hours, which will equal out to about 18 years of just regular use. So they're going to be there for a long time if you're using them the right way. Alright guys, if the video was informational or it helped you in any way, please hit that like button. And also, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos and more content like this one right here. We are still doing a giveaway for a brand new Amazon Echo Dot third generation once we reach 100 subs. We are almost there. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be entered to win one of those. I will leave the links of the products in the description of this video, so check that out if you're interested. Also, please check me out on social media. You can find me at addialhometech. And that about wraps it up for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'm Dial. See ya.